Hey, I'm the MMA loser and I'm back with another video and today as you can see it on my screen we will be talking about Hamzad Shimaya versus the former UFC welterweight champion the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman. Now before I start the video please subscribe to my channel I have very few subscribers you subscribing to my channel helps me make better videos and also helps my channel to grow so please subscribe to my channel now without any further ado let us talk about this exciting welterweight matchup between Kamaru Usman and Hamzat Shimaev now quickly let us take a look at the welterweight rankings Leon Edwards is the champion Kamaru Usman is ranked number one and Hamzat Shimaev is ranked number four so this if this fight actually takes place then this will be a really good fight to see how good is Hamzat Shimaev and also this will be pretty much if Usman loses this fight that will pretty much uh, eliminate him from future title contention at least immediate title contention Usman looked really good in his rematch against Leon Edwards I of course after getting knocked out like that like he got in their previous fight he was definitely a little shy of uh takedowns and he was uh, she was he was taking like he was not moving forward as he used to do before the knockout and which is pretty much understandable when you get head kick like that you're going to be a little bit more careful than your normal uh fighting strategy and just moving forward now but that was Leon Edwards and Usman was able to take Leon Edwards down because at the end of the day Leon Edwards again a great mixed martial artist but his best attribute his best skill set his best uh, expertise comes when he is striking when he's putting on those combinations and he's uh, throwing those leg kicks but still he defended Usman's takedown he even though he got uh, taken down, he still got back up and won the fight uh, by unanimous decision or like or split decision. But it was a good fight, and Leon Edwards won that fight fair square. Now, considering that fight, the Usman that fought in that fight against the Hamzat Shimaev that we know of, it will be an interesting fight. Now, also if it will depend if the fight will be a three round fight or a five round fight. Because in three rounds, Hamzat Shimaev is dangerous. Shimaev is really dangerous in the first round of the fight because he explodes and he explodes really fast. And Usman's biggest uh, ability is his wrestling. And I do not think Usman's wrestling is going to help him a lot when it comes to Hamzat Shimaev. Because by far, every fighter that Kamaru Usman has fought Apart from Kobe, I think Hamza Shimaev is the best wrestler that uh, Usman has fought. Then again, with Kobe Covington, Usman had more power than Kobe Covington. Usman was physically stronger than Kobe Covington. You can say whatever you want. Kobe is just durable. Kobe has pressure. Kobe has like that tenacity in him. He just keeps moving forward even after taking shots. That is Kobe's biggest asset. Again, Kobe is a good wrestler. He's a really good wrestler. I would say one of the best wrestlers in UFC but he's not a he does not have that physical strength he's more of a wrestler who will take you down just by volume just by grinding you out on the other hand and also Kobe does not really have a lot of submission wins in his career like in, in his last few fights I have not really seen him attempting submissions but on the other hand if Shimaev takes you down he's trying to submit you and he's physically stronger than most of the other fighters that uh, in the welterweight division so that physical strength plays a huge factor, especially when it comes to grappling. And Hamzat Shimaev definitely has that physical uh, strength compared to Kobe Covington or, you know, most of the other fighters. And also he has power in his hands, which Kobe Covington lacked. Kobe is, again, a great fighter, but does not possess those power. Kobe is volume. He will just throw you more jabs. Like he'll keep throwing punches and kicks, mostly punches again and again. And eventually he will just land on the other hand Shimaev has more power I think Shimaev is not really a, uh, I would say 
as far as his striking is concerned, he can strike. Like, Shimaev can strike. If you went three rounds with Gilbert Burns, he definitely can strike. But having said that, who's going to win this fight? I'm I'm leaning a little bit towards uh, Hamza Shimaev at this point just because of his age. He's younger than uh, Usman. He, is, he has had much less mileage on him. He's just 29 years old at this point of time. And he has had only 12 fights. Whereas Usman has... Usman is 36 years old. He has had 23 fights in his uh, career. Like he's seven years older than uh, Usman is seven years older than Hamza Shimaev. Just put that into picture, and especially in the welterweight division and the uh, and the pace that Hamza is going to bring in, I think this will be a striking fight because they're both really good wrestlers. I don't know if uh, Usman will. I mean, I'm fairly certain Usman might, uh, might try to take him down. Then again. I don't know if he will because if he did not try to take Kobe down, I don't know if he's going to go for a takedown against Hamzat. So let me just quickly take a look at their records. Uh, Usman has fought 23 fights. He has lost three fights. <coughs> His first loss came way back when he, is, he, uh, he lost against Jose uh, Caceres, who is... Alex Caceres is, I think, older brother or younger brother. I'm not uh, fairly certain who, but he's um, Alex Caceres' brother. I know that. But apart from that, he has only lost to Leon Edwards twice. He got finished once in his entire career by Leon Edwards. Like the best head kick, the most important head kick in the history. But then again, he lost to uh, majority. Uh, of course, he lost a majority decision, not a unanimous one, against Leon Edwards. Now, let's us look at Hamzat's record, he's 29 years old, he's 6'2", 12 wins, no losses. His uh, last two wins came against Gilbert Burns and Kevin Holland. Hamzat Shimaev against Kevin Holland was uh, as dominant as anyone ever in UFC. Holland had no answer, Hamzat took him down. Holland tried to take, uh, get into position, tried to, you know, avoid the submissions, but Eventually, he got choked out and that was in 2 minutes, 13 seconds of the first round. Like I said, Hamza Shimaev is the most dangerous in the first few rounds of it, in the first round of the fight. Then again, he lost, uh, he lo again, won against Gilbert Burns. Again, that was a very, fi uh, very exciting fight, very good fight where both the fighters were landing a lot of punches. A lot of the uh, analysts, a lot of the fight fans, media personalities of the mixed martial arts world. Some of them gave it to Gilbert Burns. I think Hamza Shimaev won that fight. Uh, unanimous decision. Maybe it could have been a split decision, but whatever. I think Hamza Shimaev did enough to win that fight. And he did not follow any game plan. And also, Gilbert Burns. You do not want to engage on the gr uh, ground with Gilbert Burns because of his jiu-jitsu. So, props to him for standing and banging with Gilbert Burns. But again, Usman... Again, even though Usman is a really great wrestler, we have not uh, really seen him win fights by submission. Whereas Hamzat can uh, submit. His jiu-jitsu is becoming better right now. His submission game is getting better. So hopefully we get to see some wrestling in this fight. I'm interested in watching when two high-level wrestlers wrestle. I'm really interested in that, in watching them. Because again, Hamzat does not just lay on the ground and try to just win by decision. He always is exciting. He's an exciting fighter. You have to accept it. Hopefully, he makes weight though. That is more important. Again, he won against uh, Jing Liang. That was 3 minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Again, a dominant performance. Gerald Mercerad, again, a dominant performance by uh, Kamzad. He just knocked him out in like 17 seconds of the first round. So, And before that, he, uh, his debut, I think, was against... No, not his debut, but he uh, won against Riz McKay, who was making his debut, John Phillips. And he's, I think, uh, before UFC, the only fighter that ever gave any kind of uh, trouble to uh, Hamza Shimai was Ikram Aliskarov, who is probably fighting at middleweight right now. And he is going to fight Paulo Costa, apparently. I'm not sure how that, uh, if that fight is really going to take place, but they are in talks. Some announcement has been made. <laughs> and Ikram was a Sambo champion, so that gave trouble to. Hamza Shimaev. 
Now, having said that, can Usman also give trouble to uh, Hamzad? I don't know. If the Usman that showed up against Kobe, if the Usman that showed up against Burns shows up, then he can definitely give problems to Hamzad. Even though Usman... But the thing is that after his loss to Leon Edwards, like his back-to-back uh, -back losses to Leon Edwards, I do not think Usman is the same fighter that he was back then. Also, he again, you have to take it into account. He's 36 years old, which is pretty old when you consider a sport like mixed martial arts. And welter, and then also at welterweight division. In heavyweight or light heavyweight, still it's understandable. But in a division like welterweight, where your speed and your agility and your reflexes matter a lot, more than just your KO power. And every fighter that Usman fought, like he had KO power over... Jorge, or whether it is uh, Kobe, like over all, all of these fighters, he had more KO power than them. Like, again, but with Usman, I just don't, again, with, uh, with Hamzad, I do not think he will have a power advantage because Hamzad hits hard. Hamzad has power in his hands. And as far as wrestling is concerned, Hamzad is also an equal wrestler, an equal wrestler. I would love to see a wrestling uh, scrambles. I would, love, I would love to see a few uh, wrestling scrambles between these two when they fight. So, I don't know who's going to win this fight, but uh, as of right now, I'm leaning towards Hamzat Shimaev just because of his age, because of the pressure that he brings. And like Usman has been, Usman has lost twice now, so I'm kind of leaning towards Hamzat. I can be wrong. I don't mind if I'm wrong. But it is what it is. But if you look at the quality of their opponents, I think Usman has had probably way better, way, way better fights and way better competitors and way better competition and opponents than Hamzat. Who's Usman fought? Let me just take, uh, give you a name. He fought against Leon Edwards three times. Uh, Kobe Covington twice, Jorge Masvidal twice, Tyron Woodley, Rafael Dos Anjos, Gilbert Burns, Damian Maya. You name it. He has probably fought like some of the best fighters the UFC ever had uh, when, when you talk about welterweights in UFC. So if we talk about experience, then it is definitely Usman. But for some reason, I think the I'm just taking bores on this one right now. I might make another video talking about these two. So yeah, I don't know, man, who's going to win. But for now, it's Hamza Shimaev. You guys can write me in the comments who you think is going to win this fight between Kamaru Usman and Hamzat Shimaev. And do write me in the comments how they're going to win, if they're going to win. And please subscribe to my channel. I have very few subscribers. You subscribing to my channel helps my channel to grow. So yeah, peace out.